Greetings programs. Just trying to recreate a problem here. There are no problems, aren't there? Now, in this video, we are looking at how you might transfer lots of files from a PC computer running Windows XP to a PlayStation 2 console. Now, it really doesn't require any special software. I mean, you can use Red Host Client if you want the PlayStation 2 to access the files on the PC. All you do is drag and drop your files and folders into the Red Host Client window and then you go to host on the PlayStation 2, assuming that your network is properly set up and that the Red Host Client LED is green. And from there you can instruct your PlayStation 2 to grab the files from the Red Host Client window. That is method one. If you don't want to use Red Host Client, then the other way around this would actually be quite, um, quite good. It uses nothing more than the Windows Explorer that comes with your Windows XP installation. Cancel by pressing the X button. Continue transfer. Cancel. The other way around this. Right, we get off the host. We will get off the host. And. Right, so we get off the host on the PlayStation 2 by pressing triangle a few times. Cancel Red Host Client. Right, see what we've done here, we've, we've just gone into Windows, right, I'll tell you how this is done, right. go on to Explorer, or just Control Panel uh, for a really quick way to this, go up, and the address bar of Windows Explorer, we do FTP, and we type in the IP address of your PlayStation 2. Let me see. Make sure it matches as you've set it on the PlayStation 2, which is simple enough. And then what we've done here, when you go and log onto the IP address, you'll see your HDD, your exploited memory card, um, 
any USB thumb drives it's described as mass and then you've got PFS which is the PlayStation file system Now this is um, quite a good method since if you were to remove the hard drive out of your PlayStation 2 and connect it to your PC using uh, an IDE to USB adapter, you wouldn't be able to see it unless you've got a specialised program such as, such as uh, WinHip or Open PlayStation 2 Launcher. But if you don't feel the need to do this and you're just doing this to transfer files, not games but just like your music collection, to use your PlayStation 2 as a simple media station that's easy to use for people that might not be technically minded and you're giving that to such a person then this might be the best way of doing it where you simply log into your PFS or your hard drive go into the PlayStation 2's hard drive zero go into the music partition that we have set up and you'll see things there and then at this point you can just simply drag and drop folders into the PlayStation 2's directory get a folder and just simply drag it into the PlayStation 2's directory and then it just transfers it over FTP Now the music folder is not actually a folder, just so you know, it looks like a folder on the Windows end, but it is actually seen as a petition on the PlayStation 2's end. Now I'll explain how this is done. Uh, go on to MISC, I go on to HDD Manager. Right, you see this? MBR net system. Now these first five files they are made when your hard drive is soft modded or specifically when you format it. These are automatically created when you format the drive using any of the PlayStation 2 formatting utilities that are ex executed from the PlayStation 2 itself as ELF files not as Windows EXE files but as L files. Now the music is actually a petition. And I created this by pressing R1 from the PlayStation 2 hard drive manager. And what I did I pressed create. And then from there on what would happen? It would ask me to name the petition and then it asked me what size I wanted the petition to be. So I named it music and after that I rapidly pressed the R2 button to make the petition as big as I could. And that was it. You didn't need to format it, it was just automatically created. And then from there on I could just exit. And there it was, so I go onto hard drive. And there it is, the music. Now at the moment it is kind of inaccessible at the moment because we are having lots of things being transferred over to it. So it's kind of busy at the moment because it is being taken over by the computer side of things. But don't worry about that because we will, we will have those back in the end. Now since we have terminated uh, Red Host Client, there is nothing remaining on the host side of things. There is no mass there because we don't have any USB drives inserted. We do have our memory cards. MC01 is our exploited memory card and MC1 is our... Uh, that's just an ordinary memory card that's just got game saves on it. So 
interesting to see PlayStation 2 files on this. Now, another nice method about this is, from doing it on the computer's end rather than on the PlayStation 2's end, is that while the, place, the PC is sending the music files over to the PS2, this actually leaves your PS2 free to do whatever you want. So we could just do some file saving or some tweaking while the files have been copied over. So overall, I think using the FTP method is better than Red Host Client if you are running Windows XP or earlier. from MMC1 and then we can just paste to MC0 Now, if we go back to the PC side, if you see that we've just um, copied a game save file from our non-exploited card, and we have just um, we have just copied a game save file from our non-exploited card over onto our exploited card, you will see that we might then be able to manipulate game saves. There we go, B scares. And there we have icon and the actual game save files. Now this is um, another good way of, um, say you wanted some cheap files off the internet, you download them, you can copy and paste them onto the exploited card. Or you can upload your files by copying from your non-exploited card onto your exploited card. from the PS2's end and then you can then copy them from to from your PC's end onto the internet. You get the idea. Funny enough it now looks like we've actually managed to get memory card one to come up. For some reason, memory card one doesn't always reliably come up. I don't know if it's my PlayStation 2 sockets, memory card sockets or not. But just moments ago, folder one did not appear. Zero was, but not number one. So, I don't know. I don't think it was that I kickstarted it from this end by accessing the card. Because I've done that before and that usually doesn't work, so I have no idea what happened there. But memory card zero is always there, it can always be accessed using the FTP method. So I think that's about it really for the time being. Yeah, I will definitely say that I do prefer the FTP method over the Red Hose Client method. Send things using the computer, leaves your PlayStation 2 free to just mess around with things. I mean, while that's being transferred over, you could uh, go into JPEG Viewer and view images if you have any, which I don't think we do, to be honest.
get a bit bored from all this waiting. JPEG viewer, text viewer. Interesting debug type stuff. That's about it, really. That's how you transfer things from a Windows XP computer to a PS2. Now, this is, as I say, you don't need any fancy software for this sort of thing. As long as you're not doing games or the open PS2 launcher to play games off a network. This is just for simple file transfer if you just want to use PS2 as a multimedia system. As I say, it's the simplest way to go about it. No, you don't have to have a tower. You could quite simply buy an old XP laptop. There's plenty of them going around at the moment, so I'm not going to bang them up while they're still cheap and I was too bothered about buying them. Like, um, oh, something like one of these. Uh, Fujitsu Siemens Amilo Pro V230. Or you may want to go for something a bit faster than that, since um, a faster processor and more ground will obviously be faster transfer times. Just make sure you get something that's got a bit of need you shouldn't go far wrong. Make sure your Windows XP end has the window um, has the uh, has it IPTCP connection protocol. Otherwise, um, well, yeah, that's what you need. You've probably read that on other guides, so you ought to know these things already. It just creates the folders, uh, and you can just go on from there. Alright, take care programs, over and out.